Welcome biologists in this session we're going to be having a look at the transport of water into a plant in the roots and also the cohesion adhesion tension theory. So first of all let's have a look at the roots. Um, so in the roots obviously we've got our root hair cells and water moves in via osmosis. Now the reason that water moves in via osmosis is because first of all we have the active transport of minerals and salts into the root hair cells. Now, because I've got active transport of minerals and salts into the root hair cell, this will lower the water potential inside the cell. Therefore, the water will move from a higher water potential to a lower water potential inside the root hair cell by osmosis. So anything in a red box is taken directly from the MART schemes and it's well worth paying attention to. So that's how water gets into the plant at the in the first place in the roots. What we'll then look at now is how it gets from the roots into the xylem bundle in the roots. So we have two roots that the water will take that we need to know about on this specification. One of them is the apoplastic pathway and one is the symplastic pathway. So as you can see, the apoplast pathway, it travel, the water travels only through the cell walls and it stays within the cell walls until it reaches something called the Casparian strip, which is in the endodermis. Now the Casparian strip is a waterproof layer which causes the water to have and forces the water to move inside of the cell and therefore inside of the xylem. The other route is a symplastic pathway, and this is where water will travel within the cell, the cytoplasm of the cell, and it'll pass from cell to cell via the plasmodes mater, which are like tiny paths, if you like, in between the plant cells. So those are the two routes that the water will take to reach the xylem. And that Casparian strip is in the endodermis. So as you can see here, this is the endodermis, which surrounds the vascular bundle in the root and you can see the xylem that creates this kind of x effect here in the middle and this casparian strip because it's waterproof it forces the water to travel through the, uh, the cytoplasm of the cells and therefore enter into the xylem so we've done that part of the spec, spec point now let's have a look at the cohesion adhesion tension theory so the cohesion adhesion tension theory this is this occurs because in the roots, I have a lot of water moving in by, os by osmosis. And this produces a very high hydrostatic pressure in the roots. We also know that in the leaves, water leaves the, via the stomata via evaporation. And this causes there to be a low hydrostatic pressure in the leaves. So because I've got a high hydrostatic pressure in the roots and a low hydrostatic pressure in the leaves, this creates tension up the xylem. So therefore what happens is water moves from a high hydrostatic pressure in the roots to a lower hydrostatic pressure in the leaves down its hydrostatic pressure gradient. Now the reason that water moves up in a continuous column, again continuous column is another mark scheme point, is because we have cohesion which is hydrogen bonding between water we have adhesion, which is where the, the water is attracted to the xylem walls. And we also have capillary action, which is the natural movement of water up a narrow tube, which is what the xylem is. It's, an, it's a hollow tube, which is very, very narrow. So I get a lot of capillary action as well. Now, the last marking point here is to, is to mention it by mass flow. It's a bulk movement of water from the roots to the leaves. It's a bulk movement of water. So that's why it's called mass flow. So this is in a red box because it's taken directly from the MART scheme. All these points are really important here at explaining the cohesion adhesion tension theory as to why water moves from the roots to the leaves up the plant in the xylem. So the last thing to remember here is that transpiration is the evaporation of water from the leaves. Whereas the transpiration stream is what the movement of water from the roots up the plant to where it leaves the plant at the leaves. So there we are, there we are, that's that spec spec specification point there. I hope that was helpful. Uh, remember in your exam, use keywords that will get you all the marks and the marking points. Um, good luck, all the best.